when you think about like your sports journey and for me like i went to a top tier high school where we traveled to play a lot of games we went across the state we played in a lot of the big tournaments uh, my claim to fame is getting able to play against Brandon Jennings when he was at Oak Hill his last year um, in Dallas. And what's crazy is I ran into him at the McDonald's All-American game. We brought him out for an event and um, I had him in like waiting on him to go out and talk to some kids. And I was like, bro, I'm mad at you. And he was like, why are you mad at me? You're like, I don't, I don't know you. And yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah. I was like, 2007, we played your school at in Dallas, Oak Hill versus Duncanville, and you beat us, and you like ruined our 37 and 0. Like we hadn't lost the game. So um, again, it's, you know the sports space is so vast, it's so deep. But um, at the end of the day, like the sports game teaches you so much, and uh, the journey beyond that, beyond the ball, is unique. And so I, w- I want to share that today, and then talk about whatever, whatever we can. We can squeeze into this episode. Yeah, man, yeah. for sure. Dang, that's cool. You went all the way. So, were you, were you at what position? Like, did you match up with him? Were you shooting guard? Or uh, what's all right? Guard? So, even though that's claim to fame, <laughs> I don't think I got off the bench that day. So, you that's know, fair. That's, that's fair. fair. You know, like when you look at today's AAU basketball space, and the kids are like seventy. Like, team is like eight deep. Mm. Duncanville at this time, we're probably eight deep not like we will only go coach was only gonna go mm-hmm. eight or nine for deep. sure for sure that game he went like six and a half like wow I don't, and i'm just sitting there you know i always make this joke like especially my junior year early on like some games i knew i wasn't gonna play i have a little peppermint in my pocket because you know you're sitting on the bench for a minute and your breath stink you need something to, to pop in there but um yeah, I didn't get a chance to play against him on the court, but it, you know, at the same time, like it's it's being able to see a kid who at that time, you know, he was going pro, and he um, he's the reason that any of these players today, the NIL space, any of that is a nod to him because he's one of the first ones. He's a pioneer of that space, being able to go overseas and make the money, and then come back and go straight to the pros. I think Lamelo Ball is like the second coming of that because wow. you know Lamelo went 16 overseas and then comes back and then plays at a this private school and then the first thing I mean he already has a brand that does pop-up shops and all this kind of stuff like they those kind of two players are your reason they have a blueprint that people follow today 